basket weave looks best with smooth yarn. It's a multiple of 8 plus 10. If you divide 187 by 8, you get 23.3. So just to show you the difference between what it um, will be, you do 22 times 8, which is 176, or you do 23 times 8, which is 184. Then you add the 10. If we add 10 over here to the 22, it's 186, which is actually one stitch less than what we have right now. We have 187. If you add the 10 the other way, if you had one more full cycle, it's 194. This is um, Coton from Lana Grossa. I'm just going to go ahead and start knitting with that doubled. For this, I'm going to try to hide the tail end that we just ended with of the previous yarn. To do that every other stitch I just hold that end over the back needle. It keeps it in the back of the stitch so you don't have to worry about it showing. Then there is a normal stitch knit. Then we hold it over the back of the needle. Then we knit a stitch regularly. So I divided my blanket stitches in half and it's 93 and a half so at stitch 93 in the blanket I decided to just knit 93 and 4 together for our decrease and there we go and then I just continue knitting normally till the end of the row and we'll be back to start the first row of our basket weave pattern and um, feel free to print up the pattern. It's on my blog and it's also in a Google Doc. Um, I decided to put it on my blog because sometimes the Google Doc will um, not let anybody in and just read as an error if there are too many people at once accessing it. So what we're going to start with is what I like to think of as like a border. It says knit four. So we're going to do one, two, three, four knits, right? Then there's basically purl two knit six all the way across the rest of the row, ending with a purl two knit four. So from here, we bring the yarn forward so we could purl two. And then we bring the yarn back so we can knit stitch. And that's the whole repeat. We go almost all the way to the end. So that's the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth stitch. Okay, so it says repeat from star. So we bring the yarn forward and we purl two, one, Two, bring the yarn back so we can knit six. And I like to feed the stitches up towards the tip of the needle so that way I'm not stretching them and creating an uneven tension. So this is the third knit. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. And when I get these kind of hunching around the beginning of the needle, I start spreading these out. So these as well don't help to create uneven tension. So now we are going back. We start with purl four. Then what I'm starting now will be the part that we repeat. It's knit to purl six now, so we just reverse what we did in the last row. So we knit to purl six. And then from here, we start again, knit two, purl six. 
bring the yarn back, knit two, purl six. And then at the end of this row, we're going to end with a knit two, purl four, which is just how we started the row. And we're starting row three. The pattern itself starts with a knit four, and it's just like the first row was. So we knit four. And then we purl two, and then we knit six. And here I'm scooting the stitches up keep from pulling. Then from here we purl two, knit six across, and row number four is knitting straight across. So from here we're just going to knit. Then we'll come back with row number five. We're starting row five Row five is knit eight. knit six. Okay, we have six there knit. And then we repeat that. So we bring the yarn forward, purl two, and then bring the yarn back, knit six. And we repeat that across to the last 10 stitches. And the last 10 stitches are going to be purl 2, knit 8. I'm starting with purl 8 in row number 6. Sorry guys, it feels fiddly. The camera is completely hiding my stitches from me. It looks like my yarn was popping through to the front that I wove in on the back. Sorry, just removing that there. Okay, so from here we're gonna we've gotten to the part that we need to repeat. It's knit two, purl six. So we knit two, bring the yarn forward, and we purl six. Bring the yarn back, knit two. Bring the yarn forward, purl six. Now we're going to be working on row 7. For row 7 we start with that knit 8. And 
Okay, now that we have our eight stitches, we bring the yarn forward, and then it's much like the other rows. Purl two, knit six. Knitting one, two, three, four, five, and six. The last row is row eight and it's knit straight across. <clears throat> the last row is knitting straight across, it's row number eight, and basically repeat these eight rows for the desired length. And they will give you your basket rib. You'll want to do at least another eight rows in order to really truly see how pretty the basket rib can be.